welcome all of you this is professor manoj birasda today we are going to discuss about windows form application project in this topic we will cover how to create new project of windows form application how to work with form and how to set different properties for the form okay so we will do is all things with the help of our id visual studio so let's start our studio now to create our new project we have to click on this new project button once we click on this new project button it will show you the list of install template of visual studio in this template list we have to click on first option that is windows form application we also have to verify whether the language is visual c sharp or not why because visual studio offers development in multiple languages like visual basic visual c sharp and visual c++ etc so uh, i have selected this visual c sharp option and this windows form application at the bottom of this window we have three options these are first number is the name second number location and third number is the solution name the first name indicates the project name second indicates location means where your project is going to be stored in your local computer and at last solution name indicates one common name for your project's file so i change this project name with new name that is win form demo and just click on this okay button once you click on this okay button your project is going to be load just to wait for a second see our project is ready this blank surface is known as windows form or you can also call it as win form windows form is the container for your multiple child elements it means in your project all the elements like button check box radio button and many more are all placed on one single surface that is nothing but our form okay now we will see some important windows that are useful to work with your form the first one is the design window this is the design window if you double click on this form then you will get the code window okay to get code window we just have to double click on your windows form you can directly open your design window from your code window for that just right click on your code window and select the first option that is view designer if you click on this view designer then also it will show you the design window okay so we can switch from code window to design window and design window to uh, code window in the left side we have one option that is toolbox toolbox contain the list of all controls that are used to design your graphical user interface of any application it contains some controls like button text box check box data grid and many more it means all the elements of your windows form application are located in a single window that is toolbox on the right hand side we have two important windows first number is solution explorer to open solution explorer we just have to click on this button so uh, this is our solution explorer solution explorer window contain the list of files that are included in your project one more window is there that is property window we can open this property window by selecting this properties option if you don't have this properties option here then we can open this properties window by just right clicking on your form and select properties if you click on this properties you can open your property window from this option also so in this property window we have different properties now we will cover some important properties for your windows form the first property is name property name property is used to identify your object in a code window so this form is identified in code window with the help of form 1 okay so let's move towards next property next property for the form is back color property the back color property is used to apply background color for your windows form so to change the background color of your form we have to click on this option it will show you 
three options that is custom wave and system out of this the first option custom shows the color box out of which you can select any color whatever you want i select this pink color see our form background is color with this pink color okay so you can change this color whatever you want but i suggest you that if you are going to design your real time project then always specify faint color or just a white color to the background of your surface so your controls are easily visible to the user okay so i change this color with white okay next property of the form is background image property the default value of this property is none it means there is no any image applied to the background of your windows form if you are interested to apply background image to your windows form then you can with the help of this property to apply this background image first of all we have to click on this browse button if you click on this browse button it will show you one another window in this window we have two option the first one is project resource file second one is a local resource here local resource indicate you can select image from your local computer the second option project resource file indicates first of all we have to import that image in your project then only we can use that image to the background of your form so i select this local resource and click on this import button and i have selected this flower image and click on this open button once you click on this open button that image preview will be shown in this box click on okay button see our windows form background will be covered with that image but one problem is there image size is too large as compared to a windows form so to fit that particular image to the complete background of your windows form we have one more option that is background image layout the next property is background image layout if you want to fit that particular image to the complete background of your windows form so we have to select the straight value for the property background image layout the value is straight so if i select this straight value and look at this that particular image will be perfectly fit in your projects if i drag this windows form and increase the size that image will be increased with along with your form also so uh, in this way we can apply background image for your form also to remove background image from your form we have to click on this option once again and then select the project resource file and click on the first option that is none and okay in this way we can remove an image applied image from your background of your windows form also so the next property is icon property the default icon of every form will be displayed on the left side of your title bar that is the three dots we can change the three dots with our user defined icon to change this icon we have to click on this icon property and this click on this browse button once we click on this browse button we can select that icon file from your system but note that the image file must be of icon type click on this image and then click on open see the icon is now visible for your windows form so in this way we can apply icon to our windows form and before setting some other properties if you want to run your project click on this start debugging button once you click on this start debugging but button the first output of your form will be look like this okay so this is our first output this is blank surface you can maximize this form with the help of this maximize button also like this okay i close now the next property is maximize box on the title bar of your form we have three button to the right side that is minimize maximize and close button if you want to disable the functionality of this maximize button so you can uh, disable this button by changing the maximize box property as false if i set this property as false 
then that button functionality will be disabled. So let's run the output and see the changes. Look at this. You can, our minimize button is active, close button is active, but our maximize button is disabled now. Okay. So I disable this button. Next, same like this maximize button, you can also disable the functionality of minimize button also. So for that, I change this maximize box to true. And one more property is there, minimize box. I say minimize box property as false. Now your minimize button will be disabled. Once again, I run my project, see the changes. Okay, our maximize is ready. Close button is also activated, but our minimize button is now disabled. And if you want to disable these both button, that is minimize as well as maximize, then we have to set both property value as false. Let's see. If I set maximize box property as false and minimize box property as also false, then see that two buttons will be disabled from your title bar. It means if you say both property as false, then that button are not visible to the user. Okay. If I run my project, then see the output. Only close button is there. Now the next property is show icon property. Already we have seen icon properties that is used to say icon for your windows form. The show icon property is also Boolean property, which has two values that is true or false. If you say show icon property as false, then that icon is not visible to the user. See the output. Now your icon is not visible. Even you have said the icon property value, then also that icon will be not visible to the user. But if I change the show icon property as true, then that icon will be visible to the user. Okay. So this is the value of the show icon property. The next property is the show in a taskbar. Next property show in a taskbar. This is also Boolean property show in a taskbar default value for this property is true. So if you run your project and look at your taskbar, see our icon is now here visible. It means your icon will be presented on the taskbar. But if I said this property value, show icon, show in a taskbar value as a false. If I said show in a taskbar property value as false and run and run my project, see the changes. Even your project is running, but your icons is not visible on your taskbar. Okay. So you can disable your icon while running your project with the help of show in a taskbar property with the value as false. The next property is start position property. Start position property indicates if you run your project, then where your form is to be going to be placed. If you want to place your form in exactly center position of your window, then you have to say this property value as a center screen and run your project and see the changes. Now our form exactly displayed in the center position of your form. Let's see the output. In the overall window, left, right, top and bottom space is exa exactly equal. So your form will be displayed in the exactly center position of your complete windows. The next property is text property. The text property indicates the title of your windows form. The default value for this property is form one. If I change this value, that changes will be reflected to the title of your form. See the changes. If I set it as home and see the result, look at this. Now our title will be changes according to the value of our text property. Okay. Now we will move towards the next property that is Windows state property. 
window state property has three values that is normal minimize and maximize if you set this property value as minimize then your form will be in a minimized position when you launch your project if you set this property value as maximize then form must be in a maximized position or in a full screen mode when you run your project see the changes first of all i set this property value as minimize and run my project look at this even our project is running but that form will be in a minimized position look at this position so look at our taskbar form is in a minimized position you can reopen this form by clicking on this icon okay same like this if i set this property value as maximize see the changes your form will be displayed in a full screen mode okay like this so that form will be displayed in a complete screen if you want to change this property value as a default then we have to click on this properties and uh, set the value as normal form has one event that is form load to create form load event we just have to double click on this windows form if you double click on this windows form you can get the code of this form load event so this is the handler of your form load event if you write something or if you write some code here that code will be executed when your form is going to be load okay so this is our first topic in the next topic we will cover how to write code in the form load event to display different messages to the user okay have a nice day thank you